AP Style Free Response Problem 7. Using the provided data, solve for the value of K. We have a reaction with two reactants and two products. We have some initial concentrations and we measure the initial rate. Okay. So in the first step in determining K is we need to use the experimental data from these five trial runs to determine what order each of the reactants is uh, and then write the rate law. So comparing reactions one and two, everything is constant except the concentration of I minus. It doubles. And when it doubles, what happens to the rate? The rate also doubles. So we would say the reaction is first order for the concentration of I minus. Now let's look at reactions two and three. Everything is constant. All these concentrations are constant except this first FECN63 minus. And if we double that concentration, what happens to the rate here? It multiplies by four. We would call that second order for FECN63 minus. Now let's look at three and four. Everything is constant except FECN64 minus. If we double it, there's no change in the rate. So we would call that zero order. And then finally, if we also look at reactions for or runs four and five, everything is constant except the I2 concentration. If we double it, what's the impact on the rate? Nothing, so also zero order with respect to I2. Okay, so first order for I minus and second order for FECN63 minus. So we can write our rate law where rate R is equal to K times the concentration of I minus raised to the first power times the concentration of FECN63 minus raised to the second power. So we're going to use this rate law to finish the problem on the next slide and solve for the value of K. So from the previous slide, the rate law that we determined is K times the concentration of I minus times the concentration of FECN6 3 minus squared. We can substitute the data for any run to solve for K. In this case, we're going to use run 1. So we need FECN6 3 minus we need I minus, and we need the rate. So all we need to do is substitute those values into our rate law. I rearranged for K since that's what we're solving for. And the rate, we put one times 10 to the minus five molarity per second, divided by the concentration of I minus 0 0.01, times the concentration of FECN63 minus 0 0.01 squared and we get a K value of 10 molarity to the minus two seconds to the minus two.